Hey, what are we going to do in this lesson? That's it. We are going to model our hot dog, sausage and bread. Let's start with the sausage. Create a cylinder, perfect, and modify the height a little bit to make it larger and narrower. We go to cups and select fillet. Then we are going to increase the radius to make it more circular and add more segments. After that, we are also going to add segments to the central part of the object because we are going to use the deformer bend. So we need it to be able to bend itself. Great! In this case, we have done the sausage very quickly. Okay, perfect. Let's rotate it a little bit to make it look better. Now, so we're going to move to the bread, which has a hole in the middle that needs to be created. So to do this, we are going to duplicate it, pressing Ctrl C and paste with Ctrl V. And we are going to hide the one we've already have. You can name both of them, sausage and bread, respectiv respectively. Great, we need to reduce the maximum number of polygons to create our bread. So reduce the height and rotation segments like this. Or perhaps more like eight segments or maybe 12. Yes, I think it's better. So now we have to reduce the segments of the cups, so we'll leave it in four segments. So, almost ready. Now we need to make the hole on the bread. There are two ways of doing it, and we are going to choose the one that needs more tools to be used, so that we can learn how to use them. So, right-click here and then select Current State to Object. This command creates a copy of the selected object with the deformation effect already applied. So we have one object with the deformer and another without it. But it maintains the deformation. Let's delete the object with the deformer and we'll keep the object with the shape already deformed. Great! Now, what we need to do is select these points over here and delete them. Let's delete them like this. So if you see this around here, it's because you have the soft selection activated. So deselect it and delete the points. Great! Now we only have half our, of our object, which will turn down into a piece of red. Let's select the edges here. So hold shift and double click on the line. Like this, perfect. Again, hold shift and double click on the line. This way we've created a loop selection for our bread. Hold down Ctrl and drag it more or less two times. OK, one and two. Don't worry about the other half, because we are going to create it with a symmetry object in a moment. Now we we'll, are going to use the soft selection. For this, you just simply have to select these lines and this and then move tool. 
After that, go to Set Selection and enable it. We'll see this yellow halo over here, which means that if we, ha if we move down these lines a bit, right, like that, these other segments will also move. And this way it will be more organic. Okay, let's do it here in this part. Okay, we are improving our uh, drawing. Let's select the points and move it down. Perfect. Okay. So we have more or less the half of our red. Disable the option and now take these polygons down manually one by one holding down shift. Okay, holding down shift. Great. Now it's better. And we are going to do the same for the other part. Hold shift and down. Click outside to disable it. Okay, and shift. Down again, perfect. So now we are going to do the other half of the bread. So pay attention to this axis. And what we are going to do is move the object a bit on this axis and then create a modifier called symmetry. This, with this, we are going to have the other half generated automatically. So what we are going to do in this case is drag the shape to the symmetry like this. Perfect. So now we'll have to look in the symmetry options how we can mirror this properly. So as you can see, it's the first one. Now we have the other half of the bread. We see that our intermediate segments are being duplicated. If we turn the symmetry off and move this point, we'll see what I'm saying. So make it visible again. And what we have to do is select all of the points in the middle and scale them like this to the left, like this. With the move tool, drag them a bit to the left. Perfect. Now we are going to unit these points. To do that, just create the tolerance. And there you go. They are now united. Great, this is the most common way to model objects. We model just one half of the object and we automatically generate the other half. Press the C key to have our object as a single object. Perfect. Let's select now this and move it down a little bit. Now select these two lines and move them down. Right, remember to hold down shift and make double click on the line. Great. So we have our bread, but we need to add more subdivisions to give a more organic look and avoid the faceted look. So we go to the formers and click on subdivision surface and we'll do the same thing with that we did with the symmetry. We'll drag our object to the subdivision and that way we can see that our bread is modeled and the faceted look is being deleted. So this 
what this does is adding segments but keeping the same shape. So here we have the subdivisions we have in the editor and the subdivisions we have in our renderer. Great! When we are working with many objects, what we should do is reduce the number of subdivisions in the editor to one. And when we render, we are going to see a good result because of the number of subdivisions in the render. So we'll leave it with two subdivisions in the editor for now. Great. And now we are going to turn the sausage on and place it on the hole. Okay, let's see how it looks. Well, I think it's too wide, so let's make it a bit smaller, like this. Okay, so we've created our sausage in red in a polygonal way. Great! In the next video, we'll see how we can create the sauce and the cheese.